hi everybody welcome to my channel my name is Trini if you like cooking trying out new ingredients and new products this is probably going to be one of your favorite channels on YouTube and today I'm just going to go through what I eat in a day and um, normally this is how I start my mornings um, whether I'm going to work whether I'm going anywhere it doesn't even matter this is how I start I start with my lemon and um, okay recently I added uh, apple cider vinegar but before I used to just have my lemon water and I've been having them lemon water for like maybe five Here's years my now. water uh, boiling I normally just have a whole um, lemon and I bought this apple cider vinegar I know it's like um, it's not that one with the pulp that one with the pulp is a little bit out of my budget guys because that one is uh, the one from um what's the brand's name okay i can't remember the brand's name but i mean it's going for like 109 110 it's a little bit over for me so this is the one that i have from nature's choice so i normally just cut my lemon like so when I do this this makes it easier for the juice to come out Even if the peeps fall in there, I mean, I'm making this for myself. I know there's going to be peeps at the bottom, so it's fine. But if you don't want the peeps to um, go into your glass, you can always squeeze this into a different container and then squeeze it into here or put your hand over here. I need but both my fingers to try to squeeze this. So normally there's like there's a lot of peeps you'd think this baby doesn't have a lot of peeps because it's a small one but yo there's a lot there always is so there and then i always try to take out some of the peeps with this because there's not really a much of a pulp so when i do this the peeps actually do come out I don't know if you guys can see but even if I'm left with like three it's fine but I just don't want to have zillions of them because they're gonna block my straw I drink with a straw So lemon, um, acidic stuff like lemon or apple cider vinegar, they tend to stain your your teeth. Just look how many. It's a lot, ne? They tend to stain your teeth. They take the enamel, the natural enamel of the teeth off. So it. It's advisable to actually drink that lemon water or apple cider vinegar water with um, a straw. So I use um, stainless steel straws or wooden straws. So my water has boiled and I just add this in there. Then I just measure with the same lid. And yeah, that's it. That's my lemon water and apple cider vinegar. Some people call this tea. 
and i don't mind drinking water like this the whole day to be honest like i don't mind i can drink that it's not a problem for me um just be aware that it is gonna be sour so don't expect anything sweet from it and then now i'm gonna continue on to make my um the oats. power is actually way too high i'm gonna just put it on three and then I'm gonna work add this boiling water. I'm gonna add about 250 mils of water. That is one cup. Cause this needs to be on the boil for at least eight, 10 minutes. Uh, it depends how much you're making and for how many people. I'm just making for myself so it's gonna be a single serving because I don't like to make um, oats in bulk and I like using this uh, brand here the lifestyle brand oh my god this almost tall I don't know how but yeah almost tall I should just put it in a container anyway i like using this brand because it has got um you know there's different types of oats it has got like what is this rolled oats rolled oats is the thick i'll just show you guys it's a thick type of oats like those things the the grains are like whole they're not um crushed like when you use other brands that are crushed and they're a little bit finer and because of that the cooking times differ and i i know some people now of late people actually like using um instant oats i i don't know like for me it's like why i don't see the point in using instant oats to be honest because i mean i know like it's convenient for other people but for me it's like it's just old guys it's only gonna you know it's taking like 10 minutes of your time at the most for you to kick it so why be funny and then i'm gonna use this um rice milk powder because i'm not gonna add any milk the afterwards and remember oat does grow in size so i'm just gonna do Two scoops of this and I'm also gonna add my <coughs> chia seeds you need to allow chia to grow you cannot just well I see people doing it here on YouTube and I wonder why chia guys is like rice you cannot eat rice when you cannot take it from the packet, put it on your plate and start eating it. You need to allow rice to grow. And the only way to allow it to grow, with rice you definitely need to cook it. With chia you can just leave it in water or anything that is liquid. Whether it's milk or what, because it's going to absorb all of that water. And then it's going to grow inside. So I like to cook mine because well i'm having this as a warm um breakfast because it's a little bit chilly outside and then i also like to add um raisins they're coming from kakamas i got them from my I colleague like to cook so them because when they're cooked they're nice and plump and um obviously they're not dry anymore but they also add that sugar level that i i don't need to add any anything i don't need to add any honey or sugar or anything i can get to the sugar from the raisins so i'm just gonna let this cook now um i don't want it to dry out because like i said i'm not gonna add any any milk or water or anything so I don't want the water to dry out completely so I will take it off when I see the water is like drying out 
because it is almost done. It's cooked because if you normally cook um, old dice, you know, you know that can stick to the pot well it didn't stick to my pot but you just have to be careful that it doesn't and the other thing this little bit of liquid that is left in here it's fine becomes because a little bit cooler what happens is that it sucks all all of, all of that liquid out so yeah it's perfect just as it is now So this is a granadella. I like me some granadella. I'm just gonna. I did wash the exterior of it. So be careful when you are cutting granadella. All the pizza inside. So I just want my oats to not be too sweet. I actually want to go more on the sour side of life. So there is the granadella. Sometimes when you cut it out, everything, some of the pits will be here, some of the pits would be in here. I don't like to cut it like this. I prefer the way I've cut it now. And then um, just need to like break it down a bit because normally the, the pips would be stuck. You see this little, I don't know if you can see here but it would be stuck over here so you just need to loosen it up a bit and then you scoop it out it is raining outside like i said guys it's a it's a little bit of a chilly morning so this breakfast is perfect because it's a warm breakfast so you just stir the, this granadilla, all of it, so that you get even um, bites of it as you you having your breakfast. I'm just gonna have a taste test. Oh my God, it smells so nice. You can actually smell that granadilla coming out of here. So um, you can also put peanut butter in here, but. I'm not feeling peanut butter, I'm feeling granadella, so that's why. And this is hot. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. You know why? Because it's not too sweet. The only sweetness is coming from those raisins. And my palate, because I have been drinking this lemon apple cider water, my palate has already got that sour sourness in my in my mouth. So the granadella is just they complement each other. Because I think if it was too sweet, it would have been like Ugh, because my my tongue now it's used to the sourness from the lemon and the and the apple cider vinegar in this water. Thanks for watching this part and I will continue with the rest of what I eat later on. So now guys, I'm going to make my lunch. Um, and then I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to make something quick to put in my pita bread. Right now on the stove, I've got my water. This water is almost done. I just want to put it in my flask the reason is sometimes we do have some load shedding so i like drinking warm water especially because it's been raining and it's cloudy and the weather is not really amazing so i can i can drink room temperature water it's just that um i don't want to have tonsillitis because normally if i do when the um the weather is like a little bit cool or cold and then i drink um um room temperature water what happens is that i always develop ton tonsillitis so um throughout winter i just drink uh hot water so i'm just gonna put in my flask the water that is boiling now and 
I'm gonna add some ginger powder in my water as well there's no I just want a different flavor like more like I'm having um, tea or something so I'm just gonna add the ginger powder even if I don't have um, even if when I drink room temperature water guys I always always boil my water I just like boiled water like I boil it and then I wait for it to to cool and then I put it in bottles the, I just I don't drink water straight from the tap reason being is because I traveled a lot around South Africa and I realized that the water always tastes different from one place to the other and I developed this phobia of um, tap water which I I just think there's germs in the water and then here there's a Greek um, seeds they actually grow in size uh, this is really it's more like a tea to be honest um, and it's good if you maybe you suffer from period pains these are yeah this is something that you can have while you are on your period so it's a bit bitter though so I'm just gonna pour in my water in there I'm just pouring like a cup first I don't want oh my god I don't want that um, ginger powder to develop lumps that's why I'm shaking it first and then I'm gonna add the rest of the water oh this smells so nice guys it smells so so nice so that's it it's full I'm just gonna close it and then I will have it throughout the day even tomorrow it's fine there is no set time when am I supposed to have it so I have it throughout the day so now I'm gonna start with the cooking I've got here that are my ingredients I've got mushrooms onion chilies and avocado these are just gonna be the snacks that I'm gonna have throughout the day. Actually, I'll start with the plum already washed. Uh, I'm feeling here. Then I'm gonna use left. this um, jackfruit. You can use um, tuna if you like, but this is what I'm gonna have. Oh, and then I have the cocktail uh, tomatoes, five of those. So first things first. I just took the power down to power one. I so wish that I had a. Uh, I wish that I had a uh, cast iron pan. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna add the coriander powder. And then I'm gonna add. A little bit of uh, mustard powder, mustard seeds. Yeah, the mustard seeds. This is probably gonna be enough for two servings, and if it is, I'll just have the same thing for dinner. But I'll probably just make rice instead of having bread. So now I'm going to add the onions. It's like the oil is not even hot enough. You know when you cook that onion, you want to hear that sizzle. You want to hear the sizzle. So there goes the garlic. Remember guys, with non-stick um, pans or pots, 
unless it's cast iron we always always have to use wooden or plastic spoons a little bit of that chili that I made the other day there is a chili So I've got here some uh, peanuts, right? I'm gonna cook the peanuts the same time that I'm warming up my pita bread. So this pita bread is frozen. I bought it on 50% off from Checkers. As you can see, this is a markdown price and I froze it because when it's frozen you can keep it at the freshness you purchased it from so, so i'm just gonna put my pita bread on here and put it in the microwave so it's preheating right now So now I'm adding the mushrooms. Actually, yeah, I should have added those last. I need to add the same day. got three tin openers but I mean they just they don't want to work if you're looking for this jackfruit guys you can um, buy it online <coughs> on a website called uh, V life <coughs> that website it sells all um, vegan food and then you can also get it from this camp i think it's retailing for like 43 rand or 38 rand i can't remember So you see this one here, I just want to scoop this oil into something. So So a jackfruit is actually a fruit guys. You know that huge fruit that's about this size, about this size, and then it's got like a lot of um, stuff on it. Like, uh, you can say, if I say ping pong, it's, it's a bad analogy. <coughs> I need to open the window because the spices are like everywhere. So, this one here, it's in. Um, Suitable for vegans, duck free, nature's charm, all ingredients inspired by um, traditional French cuisine. Delicious, tender, young jackfruit confit, ready to eat, suitable for vegans. So I just wanted to check. I think this product of Thailand. Ah, oh, guys, I wanted to check for you, like, what I, oil. you know, like, just like with tuna, that the other tuna will be in oil. So I'm just. Um, mixing it right here in the tin because it's going to be difficult to do that in the pan so this is actually a fruit guys this is not meal, meat do not be deceived So now I'm gonna put this jackfruit in here.
need to go check on the peanuts and the so and the um, pita bread. So while I do that, I'm just gonna add in some salt. This is the, the smoked um, smoked salt. It is so nice, guys. The salt. It is so so nice. It's got a gamey flavor to it. I think that's enough. This is done guys, this is done. Let me just taste. Mm. Mm. So nice. So here is my pita bread. It's still a little bit warm. So I'm just trying to make a pocket now. You see, we, even when I do this with a knife, I'm just opening it from the inside because sometimes if you are rough, it can so now, tear. There is my pocket. You can open one bigger than this if you want. So now I'm just going to put everything in here. I thought I was going to put in um, some avocado, but because i forgot the jackfruit was the one with oil in it i thought it was the one with brine there is no need because then it, it's just gonna be too oily i won't be able to eat the food well i will be able to eat it but i won't even enjoy it so no so the tomato is gonna add that nice citrusy flavor to cut through the fat remember i added that um I added the olive oil and then the jackfruit also had its own oil so I'm just filling this baby up filling it up like I said guys it's a little bit chilly outside so this is nice warm food I think this is enough yeah yeah this is enough i don't want something that is gonna pop out the peanuts are still in the they're still getting roasted i think i'm gonna i'm gonna make some rice and then i'm gonna have the same this same um I'm gonna have this with rice for later on so yeah there goes so I'm done now um, there's my pita bread just gonna taste this way guys This tastes like junk food. It's really nice. Mm. Mm. I need to go somewhere. So there's my phone actually ringing. I'm gonna take this on my way out. And there is my my penis are done as well. I'll probably snack on this tonight. That the penis. So yeah. Cheers guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna make dinner. I'm gonna just make rice and I'm gonna have that with what I had for lunch, the jackfruit and mushrooms, the fried mushrooms and da 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 that feeling that I had in my um pita bread. So I'm gonna have the same feeling but I'm gonna have it with rice for dinner. So because I'm alone, 
I'm cooking for one. I'm going to be using this as a measuring cup. And this is uh, a quarter of a uh, cup. So I'm making brown basmati rice. You just need to rinse that. Just need to rinse it and yeah, that's it really. Like you need to rinse it before you cook it. And it doesn't have to be warm water because it will cook. Just rinse it in cold water. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, let me just adjust my camera. I'm gonna add, so there is the quarter of a cup of that brown basmati rice. And then I think I'm gonna add one carrot. So here's the carrot that I'm going to be adding in there. little bit of salt yeah. mm. the rice is cooked with some carrots I'm just gonna taste if it's really soft. Well, you know, sometimes um, brown rice always takes a little bit longer to cook than um, white so it's rice. It's actually four and a half hours later after I had my lunch. Now, if you are cooking for a family of four, one cup will be more than enough. Because this was a quarter of a cup of rice. See? So I'm just making a well in the center so that I can put in the dishabo ishebu ishebu kari it's in your dishabo right in the center <laughs> oh the laziness in me guys yes the laziness in me Now the dishes can be washed. The pots can be washed. So there goes my dinner. That's my dinner and then yeah that's better so this is my dinner and then for snacks what i'm gonna have for snacks i'm gonna be having um this peanuts over here not maybe 
maybe not the whole not all of them but i'm gonna have some of them and then because i'm like it then i'm gonna have this tonight and then i'll probably have um a cup of tea before i sleep or hot chocolate or something but i'm definitely gonna have a cup of something because like i've been saying throughout the day it's a little bit chilly as you can see guys fully dressed because it's cold outside eh? it's cold it's been raining it's been drizzling it's super cloudy outside so yeah so my keep keep guys this is my keep keep this is for me personally this right here is one of the healthiest snacks that you can have ever and um the thing i might keep, keep you cannot find them everywhere in south africa it's the same thing that archer my keep keep you cannot find them if you go to cape town you cannot find them the whole of freaking western cape you cannot find them in um kzn so if you are somebody who likes my keep keep you know what word of advice travel with your own things i remember um every time when my mom would visit me for cape town you know, she would have to like she <laughs> so now when she's um she got off her um the flight and then the she would get like her other luggages this would always be the last thing that she gets she would be the last person standing there and they be like uh she would eventually just go and ask her and then they would look at her like she's crazy because some of them they've never seen that ever like a packet like this ever they only know those t-shirts that used to be popular i can't remember like seven years ago or something i can't remember when exactly but they used to be that ama keep keep shirts that used to be so popular and actually guys this is the real amatiki it's popcorn it's color colorful popcorns they don't have a lot of sugar if anything at all there are ones that are, are like coated in sugar i don't like those ones i like the original ones with not a lot of sugar and um nice thing about them is that they now have an expiry date. They never used to have an expiry date before. Guys, I've been eating this since I was like super young because my parents used to buy this. So I'm still buying it for myself. So there is the expiry date. Okay, you can't see it, but here it is. It's saying 30th of June 2020. So by then this baby will be finished. I buy a packet like this every month. So it will be long gone. And then let me just taste the food for you guys. Well, I know it's delicious, but I know it's delicious. Yeah, the salt though. Let's try, let's try. They say um a woman who puts too much salt. Well, I don't know because I'm singing so. This whole thing here, guys, number one. So I'm going to have my dinner while it's still warm. And then, yeah, yes, that's it for the day. Mm. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your sister, your friend. And I hope that you guys uh, picked up one or two um, things from watching what I ate in a day. Like one or two things that maybe you can change in your day-to-day. -day, um, either breakfast or lunch or how you make your dinner or whatever. Um, if you didn't, it's fine. And um, you can share with me what is it that you like to cook when like what is it that you like to cook when it's a little bit chilly outside 
like for breakfast for lunch and dinner what is it that you normally like to cook just to keep warm so yeah guys that's it for the day thanks for watching and thanks for supporting this channel please subscribe please tell your friends about this channel and yeah thank you so much guys enjoy the rest of your evening i know i'm gonna enjoy mine